gentlemen. Uh, a quick, quick word from each of you. We'll go James and then Tyler and Scott. Just what was your introduction to analytics? What is analytics, if that's a, a simple enough question? I kind of think of it as a new way of looking at the game. I mean, looking closer at the numbers involved in hockey has changed the way that I watch hockey, the way that I think about hockey, and the way that I look at a lot of different players. And it's interesting that this is a coaching conference because I think some of the most, some of the newest developments in analytics are from the coaching side of things. I mean, I think a lot of us think about analytics and hockey as a general manager is trying to find the right players, like we saw in Moneyball with, with Billy Bean. But I think more and more coaches around the NHL are getting into analytics and looking at ways to incorporate them into uh, their systems or, or how their teams play or what players they want to give more ice time to or what line combinations or pairings they want to have. So I think it's, th th that's how I look at it. It's a, it's a tool that you can use to help improve your performance. Tyler? Uh, for me, I got interested in it because there was so much stuff in the media that was just incoherent nonsense as far as explaining why things happen to hockey teams and on the ice. So that's guys like uh, James and Scott. And <laughs> I spent the, uh, so this was around 2003 or 2004, and I spent the next, uh, I was in law school at the time, and the third year of law school is kind of a waste of time. So I started a blog and just started exploring these ideas. And it kind of became a place where people uh, gathered to debate these ideas and to try and sort of figure out like what information that's generated from a hockey game matters in terms of telling us what will happen in the future. Because once you know that, then you can start to ask, well, how do we change that? And it was honestly something I just planned to do in my third year of law school, but it turns out practicing law is kind of boring too. So I kept doing it while I practiced law. And it was just sort of a thing for me where every year it kind of got a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, you'd hear your name on Hockey Night in Canada for the first time, or you might hear from someone in the NHL for the first time. And uh, it just kind of went on, and uh, then I ended up uh, consulting for a few teams, and, uh, and we'll see what's next. Scott? Well, I've always been about numbers, and I mean, that's, I started with fantasy sports was my thing, and, and so the measurable aspect of analytics is what appeals to me, is that you would hear, and, and this is, I think Tyler alludes to this, is that you, know, you would hear some opinion get, get brought out, well, there are ways that we can measure and investigate and see whether it's true or not. And I, I think over, over years, we've, we've seen plenty of things where, um, you know, an opinion gets, gets thrown out there by, by someone on television or, you know, on, on radio, and you go, well, that doesn't sound right. And you, and you dig into the numbers, and you can find out, what, well, no, it wasn't right. And, and that, to me, is that's the, the real value to analytics, is you can start disproving these things that you've heard passed down year after year, you know, for generations. And, you know, sometimes you, what's been passed down year after year is right, and, and the numbers will back you up. But I think if you realize that some of it is BS, um, you get ahead of the curve.